What's going on everyone? This is Slackerman with another Bandai Star Wars model kit review. Today we're looking at the Last Jedi Blue Squadron T-70 Resistance X-Wing Fighter. Um, I'm a huge fan of the T-70 X-Wing. Ever since The Force Awakens when they released uh, the design of the T-70 X-Wing, uh, I was uh, very excited to get uh, all the toys and models uh, of the T-70 X-Wing. Um, I actually like this a lot more than the original trilogy X-Wings. I just love the look of it. I think it's uh, more closely resembles Ralph uh, McQuarrie's uh, original concept drawings for the X-Wing in the original trilogy. Uh, so again, I just think it's a great uh, design. And again, um, I had this model built and painted by the same, uh, same guy who does all of my Bandai model kits. And again, another amazing job. This is the best way to go easily. The Bandai model kits is the... Uh, the best way to go as far as collecting Star Wars Starship, especially in the 172 scale. So let's take a look. As far as packaging, you just have the standard uh, model kit box, Star Wars Last Jedi Blue Squadron Resistance X-Wing Fighter. It does come with a stand. Again, he did an amazing job with the wash and the paintwork of this model. So taking a look at the nose, you can see he did a nice black wash with some uh, weathering and kind of soot collecting on the nose, the blue and gray all looks nice again it has a nice dull coat all over it so it looks uh, worn like it's uh, you know obviously it's not factory fresh um, the front again tons of black marks here which I really like I like that the model kits are now coming with uh, the kind of plastic or glass it's, it's actually plastic but to simulate the glass uh, cockpit a lot of them just had the frame so I like that this one included that obviously he painted uh, just the level of detail he did with the the pilot, the resistance pilot, you can see actually painted the blue on the helmet, which looks great. Um, you have your kind of goldish BB unit there. Again, tons of detail, that black wash all over the engines. It makes all the details really uh, pop out. Um, the intakes here, just all of that black soot kind of collecting on the intakes going back on the engine, looks great. Um, you have the blue here. This is a darker blue I had him paint it. Uh, usually it's more of a lighter blue. So I wanted it just a little bit darker. Um, taking a look at the back, again, tons of detail with the engine and then the thruster nozzles, everything looks great. Um, the underside, again, tons of detail, the wash, that black wash, that kind of streaking uh, look to it, kind of going up uh, from the nose back, looks great and it makes the, uh, the white and the, the grays really pop out with that black wash. Um, the blasters or laser cannons are nicely done too. Obviously, you can uh, open up the S-foils or extend them all the way. Uh, this one, for some reason, they tend to uh, fall back in. They don't stay locked as well as my uh, Black Squadron or Pose X-Wing, uh, T-70 X-Wing. But again, as long as you don't uh, bump them, they will stay open. They're just not as secure as my other T-70. So again, just taking a look at all the detail, uh, the Bandai model kits, especially if you can paint this... Uh, at this skill, I can't. I could probably put these together, but I couldn't paint this well. Uh, so if you can, this is easily the way to go because the model kits are only $20. Uh, I'm sure with the uh, the time, depends on your skill level, but obviously let's say maybe two days to build it. Um, you're not going to get any better as far as the looks, uh, the, the paint, the sculpt, than the Bandai model kit. I think that the, uh, the new Hot Wheels Elite series might be the way to go for people like me who can't. Uh, build and paint because those are die cast, they're uh, pre made, and the level of detail is on par uh, not completely on par, but close with the Bandai model kits. And if you haven't seen that, I did a review on the TIE Fighter that they just uh, released. Right now, they just have the TIE Fighter and the Millennium Falcon, and that's kind of in the 172 scale, maybe a little bit smaller. And they are doing uh, new trilogy stuff like the T 70 X Wing and Pose X Wing, so I am excited. Uh, hopefully that that line does well so they review or they release rather the T-70 X-Wing. But as far as this model, again, another 5 out of 5. Um, if you don't, you know, obviously it's not going to look this good if you don't have this skill level as far as the paintwork or if you can't find a model shop to do it. But if you can, uh, easily this blows away anything that, uh, any die cast model or any toy that's going to come out. Uh, this is the way to go for Star Wars uh, Starships. So, Easy 5 out of 5, and this is probably one of my favorite uh, Star Wars models I own now. As far as um, 
more Star Wars Bandai model kits. The next one I'll be reviewing is the 172 scale uh, First Order TIE Fighter Special Forces and then Poe's Boosted X-Wing. So hope everyone liked the video and thanks a lot for watching. Bye.